to another edition of the Basics of Backyard Barbecue, brought to you by Ruff's Barbecue Shop, your backyard barbecue specialist. Today, we will be looking at the Big Green Eggs expander system. We're going to start with their utility rack. You mount it on the side of the grill, and then you can put your convector and your cooking grid down there. That way, when you're not using them, they're not floating all over the yard or getting broken. All right, let's start by looking at the convector basket. I already have one loaded up here with the convector and the cooking grid. Makes it real easy. I grab two handles, set it inside. I want to take it out, grab two handles, and it's out. Next we'll look at the second cooking grid. This is the bracket that goes down next. It has the open part to the front. These little feet keep this from falling off the back and falling off the front. If you want to check to see if you got it on right, if it stops, you're in the if it doesn't, uh, Pulling forward the same thing. Imagine this baby's loaded with meat. I simply slide that back and I have nice access down here. No problem. Now let's look at all the cool stuff the Green Egg has to go with this system. A half moon convector. For those of you who love cast iron, a half moon two-sided griddle and a half moon cooking grid. We also have half moon stainless steel cooking grids and this is a vegetable basket so nothing falls through. You notice they're all half moon. That's so that we can combine them in many different configurations. And the plus is this heavy-duty steel wok. Sit it right down in the middle of that convector basket and you can, you can uh, stir-fry just about anything you want. So now let's do something fun. Let's reverse sear a steak. We start with the convector basket. Then we put this half moon convector from the bottom level to the side. We put the half moon cast iron griddle bottom level to the other side. Then we take our half moon stainless grid and put it on the middle level, the main level, over the top of the convector. We're going to want to keep the temperature of our, our leg, of our egg, low. We're going to put our meat on the stainless grid. Close the lid and let it slow smoke until the internal temperature of the meat is about 115 to 120. Then we take, open the draft door and put the meat over here on the cast iron griddle, right close to that fire. One or two minutes aside and we'll have a really nice sear. The internal temp of the meat should be around 130. That makes for a really nice medium rare steak with a great sear on the outside. So as you can see, all these half moon accessories give you a bazillion different configurations. You can have so much fun cooking so many different things on the egg. And remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can get notifications of every time we put out these videos. And remember all you backyard barbecuers, say your prayers, eat healthy, and ow! Where there's smoke, there's flavor. <laughs>